Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Brave Soul video. Today we got something kind of different. Normally I do tier lists, which we will be doing tier lists soon, don't worry. Uh, today we'll be doing a hype meter. Now you might be wondering what this is. Well, let me tell you. So we're going to be ranking every thousand blah blah character from round one to round seven. So it might be a long video. So hopefully you guys stick around to the end. And I'm going to be basing them on how hype were they when they released. And also did also mainly, right? It's not just hype if they got shafted, right? It also did KLA do them justice in terms of how they look. So let's use the best example. Yuha Bark, right? Or Yuha Baha. Uh, Yuha is pretty mediocre. He's not really the best character. He's annoying in PvP, and that's kind of what he was supposed to be. But visually, they did him very well. He, he, his, all the strong attacks he does, like he does in this series, it's very cool. He has his own unique shield, like most shield characters do anyway, but still, it's very cool. So I'm not going to put Yuha at the bottom right here because he got shafted. I might put him near the top because visually, he looks very cool. So, and also it's Yuha. <laughs> so obviously, like I said, the bottom part here is where characters, where I don't feel like Kela did them justice and hopefully we get a remake of them in the future, but you never know. And then the top part will be for characters that are really good and also visually look really good too. So let's start off. Who are we starting off with? Normally I have a script. I'm just going to be going. I'm free balling it this time. So we'll start off with the boy Mayuri. Now Mayuri is honestly, um, he's okay. He's I think he's a bit underrated, maybe. Uh, maybe that's just me saying that. I don't know if he's actually underrated. But he's still pretty good. But the problem with him is that there's just better sorry per killers for purple. More specifically, you know, Thousand Blood Roar, round four, Ichigo and Tokinado. So, but besides that, uh, this Mayuri is very, very cool. His first strong attack is unique to the manga, obviously, where he stabs his Zanpakuto in the eye or pokes it in the eye and then lets out a screech, which, you know, Caleb incorporate that very well into his first strong attack. He pokes it in the eye and then does the lunge forward. His second is just a beam forward. I don't think he really does that in the manga. His third, um, I'm pretty sure he does that in the manga, but I can't really remember. And that's one of the problems about him. He doesn't have a full screen third strong attack. If he did... This character would be very, very good, honestly. Very, very good. Uh, that aside, honestly, he should have got Havoc, to be honest. That aside, visually, I like it. They didn't go with his sunflower design, which I'm okay with. I actually really like this. And also, his his flash steps is very unique. It's the, the Quincy skates that no one else has. It's like he has a legit unique flash step, which I think is very, very cool. And the attention to detail is always nice. And then also the fact that he is immune to everything, which, you know, hopefully... I, I was going to say hopefully no character gets that in the future because it is quite broken if you think about it. But uh, I think Mayuri is the only character to deserve that because, you know, it's Mayuri. Everyone wanted that. Everyone wanted him to have that. And, that exactly, and that's exactly what Caleb did. So that's very cool. Special wise, um, it's also pretty good. It incorporates the the big boy Zanpakuto. I don't know the names, right? It's been a while since I've read the manga. But he has the, the one giving birth to the new Ashi Soki G, so I have no idea. And Kelab also did a pretty good job at, you know, incorporating that into his special because they also had to kind of censor it because it's given birth. So I think Kelab did a pretty good job in that. So to rank him, um, I think Borderline as like the hype tier. This is going to look a bit messy. But I feel like Kelab did do him justice. The only really real problem with him is his first round attack. But besides that, and like visually and gameplay wise, I think he's very cool. So that's where Mayuri is going to place. Moving on, we have Nemu. Um, also, I forgot to mention, Mayuri's summon quote. I will, I will also talk about the summon quotes. Uh, very cool. <laughs> very, very long. I love his summon quotes. By far, like one of my most favorite summon quotes in the game. Because he just, he just rants on, bro. It's like, it's mad. It's mad. So also that, also that. Now, speaking of uh, Nemu... Way like gameplay wise, Caleb did, did did a very very well. Three flash steps, havoc, f uh, really good strong attacks, good skills. You know, three flash steps, very very good. Revive on a special, which is also kind of unique because she spoiler alert, did die in in that part, which is you know. And then also a summon quote. Uh, it's like Namuri Nanago. I really like that name. You know, it's a it's an important quote from her Pacific arc when she fought Panida. So that's very cool. Um. I don't want to rank everyone too high, but I feel like Kayla did, did, did do her justice. Her artwork is very cool. Uh, I think they had to improvise a bit with her artwork because the thing with most characters' artwork, it's like straight from the manga. So as you can see here, this uh, this Mayuri, there's a Pacific manga panel where he literally looks like that. So they literally just copied it over and made it into the anime style. Uh, this, this Nemu, 
the angle in which he does the Jurinju, whatever they call it, uh, you don't see it like that. So we don't see Nemu ever look like this from the manga. So they had to improvise a bit, and I feel like they did a good job of doing that. Her eyes in the special is also very cool because her eyes were, you know, it was it was different in that part of the manga. So I do like that they incorporate that into her special too. Her special is very cool. You know, they did the running up part. She jumped up with her thick-ass legs. <laughs> <laughs> and then she did do that special move, which is cool. But strong attack wise, I don't feel like she ever did any of that in the spe in the in the manga. They had to improvise a bit, to be fair. So, and to be fair, I think they gave her kind of a basic strong attack layout, like kit. Uh, her strong attacks are really good, but like visually, they're not too impressive. They're like any character could have had that. So I'm gonna rank her just below Mayuri, like right here. Uh, let's put her like there. Um, yeah. I might need to edit in post, like, exactly where they're going to go. So, let me put them down a bit. And, like, put, like, an arrow up, up to their heads. So, yeah. Uh, I feel like they did do her justice. But they had to improvise a bit because I don't think she showed much in the manga. Besides that one special move, which she got in her special move. So, moving on, I believe we have Zombie Toshiro. Okay, now, I can't remember much about Zombie Toshiro. I'm not going to lie. Um, that part, there's some parts in the manga that are a bit iffy to me because... You know, I read it years ago. I read it before they even got announced into the to the game. That's when I started reading it. So it's been a few years now. I haven't reread it, but I will soon because I have I do have every manga volume sitting next to me that I need to you know prioritize reading eventually. So this Toshiro, hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna put him like here, like just mid tier to be honest. Um, his quote, "You cannot kill me." I believe he does say that in the manga, uh, but. I'm just ranking him here because I can't remember much about him, if I'm being honest. I believe he has a strong attack damage link. I can't, I don't have him, so do bear in mind. Uh, he had, he does have poise, you know, he's a zombie. That's the reason why I guess they gave it to him. Uh, strong attack wise, looks cool. His special, uh, again, I think they had to improvise a bit. His special is not really that cool. Uh, maybe because I don't have him, I'm ranking him a bit low. But yeah, I feel like he just, just should just be mid tier, honestly. He's great, mind you, I'm not saying he's bad. Just hype wise, it's not really there for me. Moving on with Aizen. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a little switcheroonie on you lads. You might think I might be ranking Aizen low, but I'm actually going to put him right here in between these two. Because visually, or at least on his first strong attack, they did do a cool job of him, but they did shot him, let's be honest. So he doesn't really have the best kit. I wouldn't even say he's top 10 minds, if I'm being honest. His first is a... <laughs> oh, do I want to put him here? Okay. I'm gonna have to put him here, man. Like this is this they kind of did him bad. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's Eisen. Everyone was waiting for this Eisen. Everyone thought, it, or if you didn't know, when Thousand Blow first came out, there was only announced 14 characters. There was at least as far as Caleb said, we're getting 14 characters, and that's it. They said maybe in the future we might get more. And now look at us. We have no limit. They're just releasing manga characters every like three months. So Matt, this Eisen here was anticipated to start. Everyone thought he'd be in the first 14. Turns out he wasn't. People were a bit disappointed. But now that he's here, did he live up to the hype? No. Um, I think his first strong attack is very cool in a gameplay standard. Like, it's it's cool that they're doing something different for him. It's like, you know, he's he's chanting the incarnation of whatever they call it. Um, <laughs> Kurotsuki. It's very cool. But at some point, it being cool gets a bit annoying because you have to now sit there and hold a button for like 26 seconds. So that's why he's a bit low. And also his first and second short attack isn't really that good. It isn't really that good. Special wise, he looks very cool. I feel like he, uh, Caleb did a better job with his special than Jump Force did. Because if you look at Jump Force special, I'll play on the screen. In Jump Force, Aizen does the Hydro 99. You know, the dragons come out. And then he literally does nothing with those dragons. He just does a slash. So I feel like Jump Force kind of ruined it. Whereas Caleb actually made the special look powerful. And, you know, special wise, they did a good job. But... Strong attack wise, first and second is a bit shafted. Third, I think, is very cool, but you know, 22 seconds is a bit too much. So we're going to rank him uh, like near the bottom tier. Like, he didn't really love up to the hype, if I'm being honest. Moving on, we have Bankai Yamamoto. Uh, Southeast, I have no idea. Southwest Chicken, I, I don't know. Um, I, <laughs> I never remember these, but uh, yeah. Pinnacle of hype, honestly. I feel like they did him really, really good. Uh, special wise, well, to be fair. Also, the fact that we didn't know he's even gonna, he was even going to come to the game because he didn't have a voice actor. That also, you know, they did a good job with that. And they also did a good job of hiring a voice actor. Shout out to Bin Bin, the boy who now voices Yamamoto. He did a good job of voicing him. Special wise, very, very cool. I love the special. Uh, by far one of the best specials in the game. You know, the, 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 the skeletons raising from the dead. 
looks very cool. He also leaves a massive shield around him or a vortex around him. It would have been nice if we, in that vortex, we saw skeletons like crawling around. That would have been pretty cool, but I'm fine with that. We also do see him in his fire coat or his fire armor, which I'm sure in the future when we get a V2, Fazian Blood or Yamamoto, we're gonna he's going to be a PP character and he's going to stay in that form. So, you know, we'll see about that in the future. But yeah, strong attack wise, very, very good. His quote, very, very cool. I feel like they just did him justice. Like, he's a very good character. Um, is this the first? Okay. I was about to say this is the first good Yamamoto. But, you know, that's not true, right? We have the green one. He's very, he was very, very good at his launch. We have the tag team one. Who, a lot of people put a high standard. I don't really like him. I think he's trash. Uh, Gameplay-wise, I just don't like using him. But this Yamamoto, you know... The, the last version, or technically, you know, the last version of Yamamoto that we're going to get, and canon-wise, at least, and K.L. did do him justice. Like, he's very, very good. The best speed character in the game, which says a lot because Alan Yeo is my favorite character, so I would normally I'd be biased against him, but nah. Yamamoto, very, very good. Visually looks very, very good. He deserves, like, the pinnacle of hype, which is right here. Next up, we have <laughs> my voice. <clears throat> my voice is going on, is So next up, we have Soifon. Uh... I'm going to put, like, right in the middle between these two. Because she's very, very good. I think someone like her, she doesn't have much hype. Because, obviously, not everyone likes her. I do, by the way. I do like her. Um, like, compare it to Yamamoto, right? Yamamoto, very, very hyped. Aizen, very, very hyped. Uh, Soifon, on the other hand, she's hype. But not as hype compared to these two. And then she ended up being a very, very good character. I'd, like, say, top five, top three uh, heart characters in the game. So, I'm going to put her here just because of Ke how Caleb handled her as a character. They made her very, very well. And also, gameplay-wise, I mean, visually, she does also look very, very cool. She has a boost on her second strong attack that does transform her to have her butterfly wings, which, which is pretty cool. And then her special is, uh... Her special is alright. It's nothing too special. It's, like, literally just one punch, but... She didn't really showcase much in the in the, the manga, so I'll give him that. But yeah, very cool. I think right in between Nemu and Mayuri is the perfect spot for her. Ichigo. Hmm. Ichigo. Okay, I'm going to put you here. I, I I personally love this Ichigo. I think he's a very cool character. I love the color scheme they went with him, with, you know, with his nad string. He, you know, it's red and blue. I think that's very cool. But personally, and this is just personal again, this is my opinion, right? I don't like his special. I feel like they did a bad job of his special. I don't know. Um, in the manga, when he does the Grand Ray Sorrow, it just, to me, when I read it, it seems fast. Like, yo, like, slow down, Ichigo, chill, right? And it just seems deadly. And then in his special, in-game, it just looks weak. It's slow. He just shouts like he goes like, ah. Um, he doesn't shout Grand Ray Sorrow, which I would have liked to hear. I don't know. I just feel like they didn't do him justice special-wise. And then gameplay-wise... Um, I feel like he came out too early. If he not, not like he came out too early, but if this version of Ichigo came out nowadays, he'd be very good. I think he'd have a better nad string. He'd have a maybe 25 nad. He'd have bruiser. He'd have uh, a good, an actual good killer. That's the main problem with him. Because he came out before PvE killers with Flurry were a thing, unfortunately. So I think he just came out too early. If it came out maybe later on, then uh, he would have been a lot better. But yeah, that aside... Um, I do like he has the get to good jujitsu as a strong attack. That was very cool. Uh, I feel like strong attack wise they did they did they did justice. I feel like he's very cool. It's just a special one to see that brought him down for me. And I'm just gonna put him here because he's a good character. You know he's carried me. He was my first 10 10 10 character, so I'm a bit biased towards him. But uh, personally for me, he was a bit of a letdown. Rukia, Rukia, Rukia. Hmm. Uh, let's move you up because I want to put her. I think on the same hype as you, because. Maybe just a bit before. Rukia was a long-awaited character. She finally got her Bankai. Very cool Bankai. Looks very, very cool. Again, we can also compare it. Lucky us. We can compare it to Jump Force. Uh, Caleb, thank you for doing a better job than Jump Force. Jump Force just... I don't... I'm, I'm not a fan of Jump Force, honestly. Uh, the, visually, she looks like a plastic doll. In BBS, she actually looks pretty cool in her form. So, obviously, when she first came out, people complained that she didn't have a Transformer special. Why can't she stay in that form? Obviously... If you actually paid attention to the manga, you would know she can't move in that form. It makes sense why it's not a Transformers special. But she did have a cool little vortex around her. Not as big as Yamamoto's, but you know what? That's just power creep, right? Uh, but yeah, visually, very cool. Very cool. Her quote's cool. Her special, I think Caleb 
did it the best they can do. It looks very unique, especially like the you know the transition how it's a, a face and like a slash comes through and then it does the massive ice bomb. I, I guess what I don't know what to call it, but yeah, I feel like Kira did do her justice. She's obviously falling off a bit because you know power creep and stuff, but visually I think she's still cool. I don't have her mind you, so I'm actually going hoping to pull her tomorrow because if I do, then I have everyone from round one, two, and three. Which is pretty cool. Then I just need Kisuke to get everyone from the first four team. So yeah, I feel actually pretty cool. A bit out, a bit outdated nowadays, to be fair. But back when she came out, she was actually pretty good. So you know, gotta give her that. Next up, we have Renji. 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 Hmm. Okay. So I did mention at the start of the video that I'm gonna be talking about characters when they first release. But to be fair, older characters have a bit more chance to shine because. They're older, and if they're still very, very good, then I might rank him a bit higher. So I'm actually going to put Renji, like, here. Because I actually really liked him. Um, visually, his special's very, very cool. It's obviously when he does it against Mask Demasculine. Was that his name? You know, the... Again, I forgot. The, I forgot what it's... it's no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to butcher it. But yeah, looks very cool. There was also some controversy, obviously, when he came out. He had his tail, and then K-Lab changed it to make it more accurate quotation marks accurate so he doesn't have his tail when he's just moving around which i think was i guess it makes sense it's more accurate to only have the tail show up when he does his moves similar to you know tosha when he has his wings but uh i don't know man his tail was very cool i would have liked if they just kept it i don't think it was that big of a problem but apparently they wanted to change it so let me just move up a bit um so yeah I feel like they kind of did him justice, honestly. And he's still, to this day, a very good character. Um, I still stand by it. He's the best power of Ranker Killer in the game. Easy. The only character that can come close to him is obviously uh, Nell. But they're two different characters. One's Nad, one's SP. So, give him that. But yeah, I think he's very cool. Still loves, up, still lives up to date with, against other characters. So yeah, he's there. Uh, that aside, Strong Attack YC also looks very cool. I, I, I don't know, man. He just looks cool, bro. Like, I'm just saying that again and again. He literally just looks cool. I like it. Renji um, isn't the hypest of characters, but when you have like a form like this, his form looks very, very cool. His model looks very, very cool. I wasn't always a fan of Renji, but this one right here is by far my favorite Renji in the game. And next up, we have... Oh... Next up, we have Byakuya. Now, Byakuya's going <laughs> straight there, bro. So, obviously, it's if you've been playing the game, if you know about this character, if you played when he came out, you know why it's here. He did, he did not live up to the hype. I don't feel like Caleb did him justice whatsoever. He doesn't have Frenzy, and that's really the biggest thing about him that like that brings him down this far, to be fair. And that aside, uh, obviously, if you weren't playing back when he came out, there was even a petition to make Caleb give him Frenzy. And Caleb even responded to it. Which is actually kind of fun in a KGS stream. They said they obviously can't change it. But I, I'm paraphrasing, mind you. They said they can't change it, but they're going to keep that information for future characters. And if you know what happened in Thousand Blood Round 2, they didn't even care. So, Biaki, honestly, I'm not the biggest Biaki fan. I don't hate on him. Um, I, I'm not Cowboy. I, I don't scream, you know, when a, uh, I scream when an Anyo comes out, but I don't scream when a Biaki comes out. But there was just no hype for there for me, honestly. Like, besides him being shafted, I just don't... I don't really care about this version of Byakuya. Let me tell you why. If you haven't read the manga, skip, like, 20 seconds from now. I feel like he should have just stayed dead, honestly. In the manga, when he fought as not the first time, uh, and he got beat badly, I feel like that was a perfect time just to end his story. You know, it was good... It would have been good character development for Rukia and Ichigo. I feel like, you know, when he was saying... Speaking to himself to protect Soul Society, um, to Ichigo... I feel like it was a very powerful moment. I think it was the best way to end his story. And unfortunately, Kubo brought him back and just completely got rid of all the emotional uh, impact that scene had. So um, I feel like he shouldn't have came back. And he did. He showed like one move against Gerald. Or <laughs> was his name Gerald? 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 Steven Gerald? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I feel like Caleb didn't do him justice that much. And to be fair, there wasn't that much hype for him for me personally. So moving on, we have... Shinsui, ooh, Shinsui, Shinsui. Let's put it at the top now. Right in between Renji and Yamamoto. Uh, this Shinsui... Okay, now I'll put him here. Um, this Shinsui is very, very cool. He obviously has an eye patch. That's pretty much... That, that's it, lads, moving on. No, <laughs> but for real, um, he does have a blinking animation, fun fact. That, that, that was actually pretty cool. 
But the one thing about Shinsui's Bankai, and everyone was wondering, was how is Kayla going to incorporate that into his special? Because it's very, very long. There's like, what, four stages, four dance, what they call it. So it was, everyone was wondering how they're going to do it. And Kayla nailed it. Kayla did a really good job on making his special. It looks cool visually. You know, the, the shadow aesthetic with this Shunsui looks very, very cool. His first strong attack looks cool. It's also very good. His second strong attack was unique. I think he was the first character to have it. Also very strong in certain situations. And his third is full screen. He's good. He's a good character. He was a great character to start off with round one. Lived up to the hype. His, his quote is very, very cool. It's when he says it to Lily, I believe. Samurai X, I believe. And there's the fact that, um, again, his special... Very, very cool. That's why he's mainly up here. Visually, he just looks really cool. He's also a very good character. Nowadays, he's falling off a bit because, again, power creep. It's just bound to happen. But for his release, he was very, very hyped. And also the fact that his special, he actually had moving animation or lip syncing somewhat. Killam actually tried to lip sync the special animation, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, Shun Tui by far lived up to the hype. And hopefully, we can get maybe another one in the future. Moving on, we have Sajin. Hmm. I'm going to put you here. Like, right here. Uh, nowadays, Sergeant fell off. I don't think he's even worth even... He's worth links line. But he is not very good anymore. Again, power creep. It's just bound to happen. Uh, he unfortunately, again, came out before the PvE flurry meta that we have now. So, he doesn't have a PvE killer. If he did, that would have been a lot better. He has a spider killer, which is good for Ichibei. Because he's specifically made to counter Noitura. But this, this Sergeant can't counter Noitora, so he's actually, he's crappy PvP, he got terribly shafted when Retsu came out, and he's just not fun to use anymore, you gotta use the special to get that extra range on his last hit, which was unique, it was very cool when he first came out, and when, again, when he first came out, he was very, very good, but he fell off a bit, and, you know, he was, he was hyped, but again, nowadays, I, I do consider what, like, if they still live up to the hype nowadays, unfortunately he doesn't, so I'm gonna rank him right in the middle. Next up, we have Toshiro. You know, bro. Like, you know, like, right there. Right next to uh, Yamamoto with the pinnacle of hype. This Toshiro is very, very good. Like, the best SP-based character in the game for, like, at least a year. Even to this day, like, he's still, like, top three, top five power characters in the game. So that's, you know, just shows how well Caleb did do him. Uh, made his character. And also that visually, very cool. I mentioned it earlier, when he does use his strong attacks, he gets the wings on his back, which is also cool. His summon quote is cool. His special... Special animations, very, very good. I like it. Again, we can compare it to Jump Force, and I feel like Caleb just did a very, a way better job than Jump Force, a, you know, Bandai game. But yeah, uh, this, everyone knows, this, this Toshiro is great, visually great. Caleb did a good job of him. Pinnacle of Hype, by far one of the best characters Fazian Blood War has ever released. Moving on, we have Kenpachi now. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put him right here, honestly. Um, I feel like he was pretty hype. Obviously, gameplay-wise, he's not really the best because he's like Sprinter plus one, and that's realistically the only bad thing about him. Strong attack-wise, he has good strong attacks. He also has a transform special. He's also pretty good. He hits very, very hard. He's a good character. It's just the fact that he lacks that Sprinter, unfortunately. But visually, he looks cool. I love his special, you know, the point of view aspect that they did in the manga. You know, you can see, you know, Yachiru standing there, and then it zooms into our eye, and then you can kind of see, like, the Zanpuk toe kind of shape in an eye which is very cool and then he does again transforms into his um whatever form that whatever form you call that his bankai form and again like picture for picture for, for the manga it's very very cool i like it and then in his when he does transform his model's cool it would have been nice if we could actually stay in that form for longer but unfortunately it's only 30 seconds but you know what that's fine maybe in the future when we get a v2 they can actually do him justice it's a good character. It's just the fact that he likes that sprinter. But I feel like he still did live up to the hype to some extent. But um, again, if you're rating it on character and how good they are, he'd be near the bottom. But as for the hype, I feel like he did live up for it. I feel like he did a good job making his character. It's just that sprinter plus one where they screwed up on. And if he if he did have that, he'd be maybe up here. So we're going to like put him there. And next up we have it. Yachiru. Okay, right there. Right with the these lads. So, let me... Uh... We just do that. This is going to look hella messy. Okay. So, Yachiru lived up to the hype immensely. She was the best character in the game, without a doubt. Way too good, honestly. She completely started the new flurry DR meta in PvP. She was great. 
also the fact that everyone's like, you know, Retsu didn't really have a good character uh, ever since, until her, until this version came out. She had the tag team, she had the healer one, but they were just like, you know, support characters. Retsu, or tag team Retsu was like the first damage in spe- Retsu that was actually decent. But again, Retsu didn't really have a good character until this version right here. And good lord, was she OP, bro. Very, very cool. Um, visually, you know, I, I do mention visually a lot. One of the things I liked about her a lot is that her special is her Bankai. And, you know, if you read the manga, we have no idea what that Bankai does. So I feel like Kev did a good job, specifically put him in that scene where she is, like, floating and says her Bankai. And then the the way she just fades out and then, like, appears out of nowhere and slashes, the sound effect, how it goes black and white, the blood aesthetic, you know, somewhat blood aesthetic with her strong attacks... Kayla did a, a very, very good job with this character, and besides that, she's also very, very OP. Nowadays, though, you don't see her much in PvP, unfortunately, because she's falling off a bit because there's just counters for her, like hard counters. But PvE-wise, she's still great. I, I actually haven't used her in a while, but you know what? Today, I might whip her out just to use her once because it's been a while, honestly. It's been a while. I kind of miss her. <laughs> Moving on, we have Yachiru. You know where she's gone. Right here. Now, let me explain why. Um, again... If you weren't playing when it first came out, we had 14 manga characters as the limit. When she was released, no one ex- was... Su- I mean, everyone was surprised that she was coming. There was a few hype people. I was actually kind of excited for her. I'm not going to lie. Because I liked the... Same with Nanao. Or not Nanao, sorry. Same with Soifon and Nemu. I mean, eventually they were kind of expected, but I was still surprised to see them, even Zombie Toshiro. So when, I, when I'm actually surprised to see this kind of character, specifically her, especially when there was only 14 characters as the limit, um, I was very shocked to see her. And that shocked turned into excitement because like yo i didn't expect this let's see what caleb can do and caleb just did a terrible job at making this character and that's just a shame it's literally just the skills i like her strong attacks i like her night string i like her special they did a very good job visually and, and handling this character it's just the skills that ruined her she has a spider killer lord knows why and then she doesn't have frenzy like it's just it's stupid, it's terrible, I don't know what Caleb was thinking, and hopefully in seven years' time when we get resurrected characters for these thousand other characters, they can actually give her give her a good good skill and good hopefully maybe by then change Killer, because I feel like Killer should have just done that. I'm actually hella disappointed that Killer did what they did to this Yachiru. And hopefully they never do that again. And it doesn't look like they will, so you know what? Caleb learned from their mistakes, and unfortunately it was this Yachiru that had to pay the price. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, well, I think one was done. We have Yuha Buck. Now, I did mention him earlier, I believe. Uh, right here, I believe. I feel like he lived up to the hype, like just right there uh, on the hype hype. This Yuha was cool. Yuha Buck coming into the game is hype as it is, right? Like, regardless of how crap they made him, it's, ju- it's just hype, right? It's, it's Yuha. It's the first time we see him. It was the first stern rail in the game, or Tanaki stern rail. The first quote unquote manga only character. You know, because like, all, all these characters here are in the anime. This character here, Yuha, isn't in the anime. So this is our first manga-exclusive character. Obviously, Caleb cheesed it a bit. They had some leeway because they could they could use Zangetsu's voice actor, which is very cool. I did call that, by the way. Little flex right there. I did expect that to happen, and that's what happened. I was very hyped for this character. Unfortunately, Caleb didn't do him justice in the skill aspect. And even though, skill and kit-wise, his kit's terrible. It's not really that good. Visually, though, he looks great. Like, the strong attacks he does is straight from the manga. It's cool. Uh, Zangto Bogen. Is that what you call it? Zangto Swinger. <laughs> it's cool. I like it. I like his kit uh, visually. But again, like, gameplay-wise, it doesn't play out well. And then when he does transform, he goes into the almighty form. He has that unique shield. It looks cool. His almighty form looks very cool. Um, the special is very, very good. I like it. Again, he was also he's also pretty good in PvP. At least when he came out, he was he- hella cheesy. You know, it was annoying to go against him. I still avoid him to this day, but uh, he should have been a PvE character. And if he was, and he was good, he'd be up here. Like, like more so than these guys. But unfortunately, they just made him a PvP character. And not very good one of that, too. Next up, we have Yoruichi. Hmm, hmm. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is getting a lot crowded. Um, hmm, right here, right in between these lads. I'm a fan of Yoroichi. I'm biased against Yoroichi. I I really like this form of Yoroichi. Obviously, um, if you go back to my older summon videos, like when I first pulled her, by far like the biggest reaction I ever had to pulling a character because I didn't have a lot of orbs. I wasn't expecting to pull her. Um, 3% banners were never good to me. 
Obviously, if you watch my Island Yellow summons, you can tell 3K was going to get one five stun. It wasn't him. But I like what they did with his character. Oh, sorry. I like what Kai did with her. Her first strong attack is a lunge forward. Unfortunately, the only real problem about her is that she has some hitbox problems. And she also did have a missing hand when she came out, mind you, which is funny. But uh, I love what they did with her character. She's a good character. It's just, again, she's falling off a bit because of power creep. Her, she, again, she also has the Transformer special, which is very cool. I like how she doesn't speak in it because, it, you know, it's Kisuke. He pulls up the sign and then he she transforms. I like that. Her hissing. Her hissing was cool. I liked it. <laughs> her, when she does transform, it was also very cool that her nad changed, like completely changed. She has like a massive nad range when she attacks. That was also very cool. Very unique. I like it when Killer does stuff like this. Like it's unique to one character, you know, with you know, with Mayuri's flash steps. It was cool. I like what they did with her. She was very unique to the game. I feel like I did a good job of her. It's just, you know, the hitbox problem. That was the only problem with her. The, the Shimpo thing behind her looks like a headline, it doesn't look fluid, like, it doesn't actually look like it's spiritual pressure, it looks like it's a physical object stuck into her back, which shouldn't be the issue, but, I mean, that shouldn't be a thing, but it is, so, if she didn't have those problems, she'd probably be, like, here, but yeah, again, also a bit biased, because I do like, you know, she, she's there, next up, we have Kisuke, hmm, I'll put him here, so, nowadays, when Kisuke came out, he was hype, uh, I think he was regarded as like, one of the better characters, but over time, he's falling off a bit. People realize his first strong attack isn't that good. His second strong attack doesn't have that much range. His third is full screen, which is good. So there's that. Um, I actually don't have him, mind you, so I actually don't play him. But it was also very cool for him to be the first character to have a resurrect special, which also, again, people are called, right? Like this, I like that when, you know, everyone was calling, hoping for him to get something or a character to get something, and they actually do get it. So, for example, Kenpachi. Everyone was hoping he could get a Transformer special. He did. Everyone was hoping Mayuru to get immune to everything. He did. And everyone was hoping this Kisuke could get a revive on everything. And he did. Which is cool. I liked it. Um, that aside, though, again, gameplay-wise, maybe a bit on the lower side. But high price, he was also very cool. Kisuke, fan favorite. I also, I didn't mention it for Yoroishi. I wasn't expecting these two to be in the final round. Because, um, yeah, I, I just had, I was under the impression that, funny enough, that they wouldn't skip Aizen. I, f I felt like... If they're going to include someone, it has to be Aizen. I feel like Kisuke and Yoroichi weren't going to make the first, the final 14. And it was going to be Aizen and Uryu instead. But no, to my surprise, it was actually these two. And nonetheless, that was hype. I think he lived up to the hype for the most part. But over time, he fell off a bit. Next up, we have Ichigo. Hmm. Again, right up there with... With... Uh, hmm. Let me uh, put you there. Nah, okay, I'm going to put you there. With uh, with Retsu, this this is looks terrible. I I'm, I might fix this in the future if I ever do this again. But this Ichigo, he's in my intro. I've max transcended him, so I'm I'm a bit biased here. But obviously it's my it's my list, right? I'm allowed to be. Um, yeah, again, this is also personal preference. Lived up to the hype without a doubt. This character was the best character in the game, best SP character in the game when he came out without a doubt. Uh, first was a lunge, second was a boost, which you can infinitely stack. It increases max. Very cool. It transformed him, which was very unique. Still to this day, the only character to do that. Very, very cool. It was a mixture between his Hornet Salvation form and also just normal form. Good. His special, very, very good. Like to this day, still one of the best specials in the game. It's slow. He does the get a potential that he did to Yuha, then does like the flip, the final swing, which kills Yuha in this in the series. No, yeah, it does kill Yuha in the series. Um, for the most part, he does come back later on, but you know, whatever. And it's very cool how it slows down. And then the sword breaks apart, and then you can like see the glare to his his true Shikai or true Zangetsu. I like that. I like what Kai did with his character. They did a very very good job of him, and that's pretty much all about. That's literally all about it. Like that's there's not much to say about him. They just did a really good job of him, gameplay wise and visual wise. Moving on to the final three, we have Ichibe. Ichibe, uh, you're gonna go here. No, right there with Yuha. Funny enough, actually. So the reason why I'm putting him here is because he's a Norito counter. I am under the. I'm assuming most people feel the same way. Feel like he should have been an SP based character. Not everyone likes PvP based characters because it's like it's not the funnest game modes. You literally don't even play with him. So that's a bit unfortunate when we do get characters like that. I went to on the other hand is like you know the PVE flurry character, and if it feels like either he should have been the same or he should have been an SP based character, and that's personally just for me. 
But I'm still hyped for him nonetheless because he is a PvP character. I do want each of eight, you know, nonetheless, right? That's still, I still want him. But that side, uh, gameplay wise, he's also very good. He has Flurry. He's a hard counter to Norito, which is also, to some extent, pretty cool. It's also pretty good, right? You know, whatever. But uh, that's I, visually, I like it. I, I, I'll get some in a minute. So strong attacks are cool. It incorporates his black, you know, his power is literally just black, whatever. He can name stuff, whatever. Um, his strong attack is the, the dragon breath. I have no idea what it's called. It starts with a T. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I'm not going to butcher it. I like that they incorporate that too. It's when he does it against Yuha's blood vein shield, whatever they called it. Uh, what else is there? His nurturing is cool. I like his, you know, his, his Zanpak Toad is one of the cooler Zanpak Toads in the series, which is which is kind of cool that he is also a Flurry character because you're going to be using his Nad a lot. But also one of the main things I liked about him is his special. His special is like literally the final move he does in the series. But also I like the fact that if you read the manga, you would have noticed the way Kubo drew Ichibei was very, very cool and unique. He had like no pupils that when he, like, that's the one thing I like about Ichibei. It's funny enough, so many Reddit posts like literally a few hours ago, how um, he's, they're not hyped for Ichibei because he looks like a, I'm paraphrasing, he looks, he looks like a bellend, right? <laughs> um, visually, Squad Zero don't look cool. They look like, they look like wankers. <laughs> but that doesn't stop them. And that's also what, that's what Kubo does, right? But um, when they get serious, it's very, very cool, right? Like Ichibei, he doesn't look that strong. But when he gets serious, especially in the manga, when he loses his, loses his pupils, the way Kubo drew him, very, very cool. And it's like, yo... Slow down, Ichime. You're scaring me. And Caleb did incorporate that into a special. It's hard to see, though. I'm going to slow it down in the bottom right screen or whatever somewhere. Might, wherever I'm playing the specials on the screen. If you actually look at the special, um, you can actually see that he has no people. that one part, which is cool. Unfortunately, you can't really see it, which, you know, it's whatever. But it, it's cool. I like it. And his, his, his special actually looks very, very powerful. How he, you know, puts his sword down. He does the, the squash thing with his hands or the prey thing. I have no idea what he's doing. And then boom, like he's just there, and like it, the the whole temple just flies out behind him. It looks cool. I feel like I did a good job of him. Nimayo, right up there. I'm sorry, Nimayo. You have to. Oh, okay, we're running out of space. I need to move him up. There you go, Nimayo. Um, same as everyone else. I don't think he should be higher. Uh, you know, one of the two. <laughs> Squad Zero that actually showcased something very cool. He's the creator of the Zompak Toes. He's also speaks in English, which is very, very funny in a special, how he says, I'm the number one Zabok to Korea. I like that. Also, more hype because he's voiced by Swedewagon. <laughs> but also, gameplay-wise, they did him very, very good. Everyone wanted him to be a Flurry character when the screenshots came out. Everyone was a bit, somewhat bit, some people were a bit disappointed because it was looking like he was an SP-based character because he had recharge, but no, Kayla gave him recharge and 40% bruiser. So, he's by far going to be, like, one of the best night characters in the game. If Toki Nara didn't come out last month, he by far would have been like way more hype because, you know, we wouldn't have, we're used to talking all now. So, <laughs> uh, Oetsu is nothing too new. But also the fact that he just looked great. He's going to be great. He's going to be really OP and very, very good. So that's why he's like the pinnacle of hype. And also he's one of the coolest squads you remember. So that's why he's here. And that's about it. And then last character, last but not least, we have Orihime. Orihime. Um... I'm going to put you here. Right there. Because. Uh, yeah. Here. Sure. Why not? This Orihime is. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Orihime. I like her. She's hyped. I want her. But unfortunately, Caleb just didn't make her as good as she could have been. But then again, that's, pretty, that's probably my high expectations. Personally. I wanted her to be the best support in the game. And to be fair, she is. But she isn't what I wanted her to be. And maybe that was, just, again, too high of an expectation from Caleb. I wanted her to have a boost, shield, and heal. Unfortunately, she only got a shield and a heal. But to be fair, she does have the healer skill, which turns her heal from a 20% heal to a 50% heal, which is very, very good. Right? She's a good character. Unfortunately, she's a power character. She has Holo Killer, which, again, looking at this list, she's going against Nemu and Toshiro. And is she going to be better than these two? No. <laughs> Easily not. Right? And again, also, Orihime doesn't have the... the Biggest of hype for me compared to the other characters, but she's also high, bro. I'm not saying she's not. She's a great character. I like her. I want to pull for her. I hope I do get her. But again, compared to the other characters, um, I was hyped, more hyped for these characters. But anyway, guys, that was my video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make it to the end. Shout out to you. You're the real one. Uh, there you go. This is my hype meter list, I guess. Uh, very, very messy, but you know what? 
we're just going to go with it. <laughs> it is what it is. So, again, since the man is now dropping tomorrow, I hope you guys do have good luck. I hope you guys get what you want. And I hope I get what I want. You know, I'm, I'm about to drop like five cubes, 80 pounds. I'm getting that Kogar. It's a good time to play BBS. Everything just drops. Everything drops tomorrow. All the announcements drop today. The like, BBS is hype. I can't wait to play tomorrow. We're going to be streaming probably for a long time, honestly. Like, we're finishing IZ. Well, no. We're grinding IZ. We're grinding Epic Raid. We're grinding uh, Senkamon. We're doing everything tomorrow. So, a lot of summons, a lot of five stars to get. Um, a lot of money to spend too, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm getting that go, guys, all I'm saying. But yeah, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know who you are most, hy most hyped for out of all these manga characters in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.